Hello Taurus, Elsie here to do a bonus read for you my friends. Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. If you were here for the very first time, welcome. I hope you'll let yourself be known in the comments. We like to be in the comments around here, some of us. And uh, if you are a Taurus, who is my ride or die and you're here all the time in the comments, I appreciate you. I come back here a few times a week, Taurus, to do readings for you. Because you eat up these readings so quickly, I'm just trying to keep up with you. If you've been here before, you do know that these bonus reads do not have dates or times on them. I'm just going to throw the cards, find out what's going on, and uh, you can take it from there. I do not intend for this to be past energy. This is current or um, prediction. This is not past energy. All right, here we go. Let's talk about a Taurus. Tell me about Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What does Taurus need to know? We have a new beginning coming, Taurus. We have a triumphant new beginning coming, Taurus. It's coming at you pretty quick. It is uh, the chariot energy, right? It's coming at you pretty quick. For some of you, you might be having um, a new beginning with either an Aries or a Cancer. One more card, please, for Taurus. Look at this. <laughs> it's all major arcana, Taurus. And that means that there's a lot of changes coming. When the major arcana show up, when the major arcana show up, and there's usually 21 of those in each deck, when the major arcana show up, it's because there's change coming to your life. It's not something that you can stop. There's nothing you can do about it. This eclipse that we're having tomorrow is the reason why. These are faded changes. You don't have to manifest. You don't, you don't have to do nothing. The universe isn't listening to you. The universe is like, okay, back there on the full moon, you released some things and you told me what you wanted. Here it is. So now we're going to go through a bunch of changes to give you what you want. And sometimes when you ask for what you want, that means that other things must be eclipsed or removed from your life in order for you to get the things that you want. So there is a new beginning coming very quickly, which means something must end so something can begin right? That's always the only reason that anything ends is so something can begin again. All right. Tell me about this. So we've got Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo energy here. Um, the triumph card is the chariot. So that is cancer. And then we have the new beginning, which is the fool. And that is um, Aries energy. Tell me more about Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter, please. Tell me about Taurus. There we go. A new beginning in love, Taurus. I don't know. Just coming out as clear as that. You are going to be making a choice in love. So that means that you might have more than one option, but this love is going to be a choice. You are choosing the new beginning. It's not being thrown at you or forced on you. This is going to be your choice. Oops. We do have the Ace of Wands, which is which is coming at you pretty quickly. So there is a new, exciting, like really exciting, passionate, creative path that's opening up for you here. And it almost feels like this path is opening up so this person on the horse can get to you. That's what it feels like. This path that they're coming to you on is a brand new path of passion. Tell me about the universe card, please. This is the world card. Tell me about this. And what is going to be ending is worry, is doubt, is looking back there, looking too far ahead, looking too far in the past. It's worry. It's uh, something that I feel um, is breaking into your sleep, breaking into your daily rituals, your daily work. It feels like you can't stop thinking about something. It's quite obsessive. And... Um, I feel like you're probably in this obsessive energy right now, Taurus, because it's like you already have a heads up. I feel like something is going to be ending, and so something can begin, and I think you're already feeling that energy. Look at that. We've got transformational energy with the death card here. So there is definitely something that is changing, um, dying, so something can begin for you. Tell me about the Two of Cups and this new beginning. Oh my, oh my. Tell me about Taurus. Got the moon, got the, the ten of swords, and uh, we have the seven of wands. So I want to say for some of you that this new beginning that's coming is a romantic new beginning. We've got the knight of cups on the bottom of the deck. And um, 
I want to say that with this love here, it's it's almost as if things aren't as they seem. So if you don't think that this, this new beginning is coming, you're wrong. Things aren't as they seem. And I also want to say, because whenever I see the moon card, I'm, I'm clairvoyant and I have a, a guide. His name's Charlie. And the first thing that Charlie shows me, I always have signs and symbols with Charlie. He shows me that... Um, you know, when you're sitting in a car and the, the side mirror is there and it says across the top, things are closer than they appear. And so I want to say it's that. Things are way closer than they appear, Taurus. Something is about to go off here. And I want to say that for some of you, what's going off here is that somebody here, I feel you're having a new beginning with, is someone that you already know because the Ten of Swords is here. It feels like that there has to be an end first, an end to the moon energy. It feels like the end of the cycle of being in the dark, of not really knowing what's going on or maybe feeling it but not being able to see it. So I feel like what you've done in preparation here, Taurus, is you've put up your boundaries. We've got the Seven of Wands here. So you've put up your boundaries here and it feels like What's coming to an end, and you know it, is the moon energy. Something's about to show up because it's closer than it appears to be right now. It has to do with romance and the four of wands. It's pretty some pretty serious stuff, this new beginning here. Well, tell me about this new beginning. What do we need to know about this new beginning for Taurus, please? That there is about to be a breakthrough with the King of Wands here. And we do have the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone you've been very patient for. Someone that you've put a lot of energy into. Someone that you've you've been um you've been you've been carefully growing something here that's about to give birth or about to be birthed. And I think it's a new a new situation. This person's holding their belly and they're looking at the seven pentacles. So it does feel like someone has been carefully growing something, taking care of it. You know, it's kind of like it's precious cargo. And I think that that's the king of wands. So the king of wands is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They don't have to be those signs, but this person is coming in because they're feeling inspired to do so. I feel like the king has had a a breakthrough or the sun is here and now the king can see everything clearly and I really do feel it's a breakthrough I feel like somebody has grown up somebody has grown up to be the king of wands um, I say that because for me the sun is not only about family but it's about growth and um it is about, you know, personal, professional, spiritual growth. Now, you could have children with this person because we're not going to ignore that the person on the Seven of Pentacles has a big belly. Maybe um, this is somebody that you've already had a child with. Um, but I do feel that uh, the new beginning is with the King of Wands, whoever, whatever their sign is. It is someone who's very fiery, very passionate, very good looking, has a lot of desire for you. And I feel like you desire them as well. And I feel with the sun here, it's almost like all of that's on steroids. It feels like somebody is coming in for a new beginning um, because they feel that they've been patient or they've waited long enough. Tell me about the Ace of Wands and Triumph. I feel like you're going to get Triumph over some over this over this um, ace of wands i feel like the ace of wands is showing up here this new passionate path exciting and quick moving we do have the six of pentacles we have the king of swords there we go somebody is coming in to be very honest and give you some reciprocity i just got a a, um, a beeping or i'm sorry a, a you know a high-pitched hum in my right ear so i feel that's confirming that um we do have the eight of swords here i want to say that what is delayed this whole situation is that somebody didn't know what to say so they were up in their head and worried right the nine of uh swords is here we do have eight swords and one in the hand of the king which is here this person wants to give you verbal um, reciprocity. They want to speak with you. The King of Swords wants to be very honest and truthful. They're about to be very honest in a way that's head over heart. I don't see any cups here. It's not like we're coming in charging him with love. I just want to have a conversation with you. But I feel like the King of Swords has been up in their head or in a place where they feel like their hands are tied, that they can't come forward or couldn't come forward. And so what is bringing... What is bringing the King of Swords King of Swords forward? I do believe that the King of Swords and the King of Wands are the same person. Tell me about the um, the chariot here. What's coming in the chariot? What's arriving here? The Tower, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Sorry, the Six of Swords. So I feel like when when um, 
this person comes charging in, the king. When the king comes charging in, I feel like it causes a tower. So it feels like it's a... Um, it causes a tower in the life of the Queen of Pentacles, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And it does feel like that, it feels like something is being shifted or shaken up. It, oh, yes. Like I'm seeing pictures in my head of, of New York just had a, had a 4.5 um, earthquake. And it feels like, it feels like we're on shaky ground or something is about to shake up because somebody has made a decision because the reason that it's happening, the tower is happening, because you, I feel, made the decision to cut out. I feel like that you, this is the Six of Swords is telling me you moved on already, that you have left this in the past, you have disconnected from the chaos in order to go to the calm. I feel like this king is rushing in and um, the, the, this person is coming in with a lot of words and a lot of passion. A lot of passionate words. But I feel like you've already moved along. I feel like you've already had your realization. But I do feel that this person, when they arrive, is going to bring a tower as well. But I feel like you've already had your realization that you need to just move on. We have the Queen of Wands here. We have the Devil. And we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Interesting. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands and the Judgment card. So it does feel like in the future here, there is, again, it's it's mimicking everything we've said, right? We've got the Ace of Wands, which is in the King of Wands hand. And we have the Ace of Swords, which is in the hand of the King of Swords. So there is going to be some sort of spicy conversation here. And uh, we do have... We have the judgment card. It feels like something is about to be resurrected. Look, I know that some of you don't want to hear it, and it is tough nuggies, man, because it feels like whoever I'm connecting with, if this is not your reading, that's cool, but whoever I'm connecting with is going to have some sort of a, a reconciliation with the King of Wands, who is also the King of Swords. We do have the Ten of Cups that's in the reverse, and I want to say that something has come to an end. Um, and I think what has come to an end here is probably the Ten of Cups. The door is being closed on a relationship and it's not the relationship with you. I feel like it's a relationship with someone else or that with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, this person is not happy, that they do want to close the old chapter of silence and not talking. And I think that they want to begin again. They want to transform the situation. You are the Queen of Wands, I feel, but of course, you're the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. And so I feel that although you are solid and sturdy and grounded, um, that I also feel that you are somebody who is the soulmate of the king of wands so the qu queen of wands is here so there's a mutual attraction there's a mutual desire um you two uh, uh move in the same way you're both very motivated you're both very tenacious it's like these two can run together i, I see a dark and a white horse running together on the beach and that's what it feels like it feels like you two um that you two are very still very connected. The devil is here. And so the devil energy is attachment. It's almost like this is an attachment. <laughs> and um, the attachment of two souls, I want to say. And not in a, in a bad way, but the, the devil energy can be that. It can be obsession and, and seduction. And maybe it's a little bit of that because we're, we're dealing in fire energy. But it feels like somebody here has had something that's gone wrong or gone awry. And I want to say that in the future, there is a reconciliation with some clarity and spicy conversation, a new path. We've got the, the, the ace of wands that showed up again. So somebody's had an ending. And I think that's why they're coming in because they want to transform something with you. The Queen of Wands, who I feel is your energy. The Queens, I feel, are your energy because of the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and the Queen of Wands energy here. I want to say that you worried or you have been worried that you're going to have to carry around this attachment forever and you just want to let it go. I feel like you, you just want to let it go because in your mind, it's never going to work. It's never going to turn out. Tell me what the... Um, Tell me what's uh, going on for Taurus here. Tell me about Taurus. What is the uh, outcome here for Taurus? So now we have um, the King and the Queen of, of Wands and the King and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you can dish it out and you can take it, I want to say. <laughs> I feel like 
somebody here has liberated themselves from the Ten of Cups. I don't know if it's you or if it's them. Maybe you've had a relationship that ended, but maybe the King has had a relationship that has ended. But what I do know is that you and the and the King have have um, have memories together, really good ones. I feel like you are a soulmate, of course, of this person, but I feel like um, what you're thinking about here with the Queen of Swords energy, what you're thinking about is um, is is trying to uh, liberate yourself from the Six of Cups connection. I think that you want to disconnect from the Six of Cups, but you don't know how or you can't. Or maybe you're holding up the sword and you'd like to do that. Um, I feel like you want to liberate yourself from all of these memories. I feel like you're carrying a lot of memories with you about the Emperor. There we go. And we do have three queens, right? We have the, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. The only one we're missing is the Queen of Cups. So it feels like you have all of these memories with the Emperor, and um, you're trying to cut yourself away away or you want to liberate yourself from from these memories that you have with this emperor there's the tower there's the ace of pentacles there's the queen of pentacles so we have the queen of pentacles again so i do feel like that there is going to be some type of an investment look the when the tower falls it only falls on an illusion it's something that somebody had built that that they built because they thought that they should but it really wasn't the path they were supposed to be on and when we remove ourselves from the path then the tower shows up and breaks down the illusion so we can clean away the debris, and we can start building a structure stronger than it was. And I feel like that's what this is. So I feel like the emperor is probably arriving here in the future to clear away the debris of any illusions that may have existed with them or with you. And they are about to invest in the queen of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles here is, oh, isn't that interesting? Because we have the, the tower and the queen of pentacles. We have the tower and the queen of pentacles. So it does feel like that there is something, a shakeup, a shock, it feels like you're going to be shocked when this person shows up because you're not expecting them, but you are holding on to the memories. You've been trying to cut yourself away from these memories for a while. We have the Knight of Wands, we have the Two of Wands, and we have the Judgment card. So somebody's coming back around, you know this person, and I feel like you're going to have to make a big decision to let them jump the boundary. I feel like you've blocked them. So they're going to find you somehow. And um, if this isn't for you, it isn't for you. But I think that they're going to find you somehow, whether that is via text or via email, or sticking a note in your mailbox, or sending you a piece of mail or delivery. And if you live in the same place, I feel like for those of you who can be found by this person, I feel that they will exhaust whatever they have to exhaust because in order to find you, because the that's what the emperor is about. The emperor will not even take a step foot forward if the emperor thinks that they're going to fail. They won't take a risk. They can't risk the entire empire just for one person, right? So it does feel like that there is a decision that you're going to have to make as to whether you're going to let this person in. They might even show up to your door. I'm just saying. Um, we have the Hierophant. We have the... We have the uh, Seven of Wands and we have the Seven of Cups. I feel like your boundaries are up. I feel like this person's coming in because they wish for more like they wish for a commitment with you, but I feel like your boundaries are up and you're keeping them at arm's length, I want to say. The Seven of Cups is showing me here that you you want to take the Two Cups, but you're looking up at the Five, right? Is this going to hurt me? Am I going to be sad? Am I going to be regretful if I decide to move forward? We have the, yeah, I think this is the thing here. I think that you've done so much work on yourself that you just don't, it's like, you just don't want to waste it on just anybody, right? Because I feel that some people think that they're in competition with other people for their person, but really what they're in competition with is solitude, is that I've worked on myself up to here and I'm not about to let you tear it down. But I feel like there is a an opportunity for conversation coming here. And I feel like for some of you, you're going to take that opportunity to have the conversation with the with the emperor. But listen, no queen of cups. You're not doing it with love. You're doing it head over heart. And they're showing up as the king of swords, head over heart. They're very passionate and attracted. But they're, you know, this is going to be um, a conversation between two people in swords. We're going to talk about what's in our head. We're not going to put our feelings into it. So whatever happens from there happens from there. I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. I'm going to go for now, but I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. Bye-bye.